Good morning. It's Thursday, April 29th, 2021. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for your journey today. Our devotion today is entitled, Harvest Songs, A Little Off-Key, and our scripture is Amos chapter 8. Then the Sovereign Lord showed me another vision. In it I saw a basket filled with ripe fruit. What do you see? he asked. I replied, a basket full of ripe fruit. Then the Lord said, like this fruit, Israel is ripe for punishment. I will not delay their punishment again. In that day, the singing in the temple will turn to wailing. Dead bodies will be scattered everywhere. They will be carried out of the city in silence. I, the Sovereign Lord, have spoken. Listen to this. You who rob the poor and trample down the needy, you can't wait for the Sabbath day to be over and the religious festivals to end so you can get back to cheating the helpless. You measure out grain with dishonest measures and cheat the buyer with dishonest scales and you mix the grain you sell with chaff swept from the floor. Then you enslave poor people for one piece of silver or a pair of sandals. Now the Lord has sworn this oath by his own name, the pride of Israel. I will never forget the wicked things you have done. There's enough about judgment in Scripture to have a true echo to this picture Amos has seen of harvest songs, usually a very happy time, turning into wailing in Jerusalem's temple. Jesus' teaching in the Gospels is enough to make one sit up and shudder over the great judgment day coming. The list is too long and discomforting for bedtime reading. There's the barren fig tree about burying your talents in Luke 13. The Good Samaritan about religious elitism in Luke 10. The Pharisee and the Publican about judging others in Luke 18. The rich fool, greed and selfishness, Luke 12. The rich man and Lazarus, ignoring the destitute, Luke 16. The sheep and goats, pretend Christianity, in Matthew 25. And the house built on the rock, trusting in other than Christ, Matthew chapter 13. Now, that's just an un comfortable list of parables, little stories with multi-level lessons. Greater stories of judgment that cut right to the chase have mountains crashing down on heads, stars falling, war with rivers of blood flowing deep enough to drown a horse. Then there are the results of judgment, everlasting torment, weeping, gnashing of teeth as an ongoing expression of torment irrevocable banishment into the darkness, never to experience God's love, being cut in two, and on and on. The natural objection to all of this is to point to the fact that it's been 2,000 years since Jesus died and the earth rocks on. So, where's the judgment? And the traditional response to that is, so what? Justice delayed is a sign of God's mercy, giving those who reject him time to repent and be saved. Second Peter chapter 3, 9. The Lord isn't really being slow about his promise, as some people think. No, he's being patient for your sake. He does not want anyone to be destroyed, but wants everyone to repent. But... Whether people want to forcefully object to Scripture's warnings or simply ignore them and hope they're not true, there's an undeniable discomfort level with the whole subject. This in itself is a measure of proof that there is, placed deep within each of us mortals, an understanding of our accountability to God and the culpability of our sins. For those poor souls who want to object to God's judging the world and everything and every person in it is like a flea having an argument with an elephant. It just will not change the outcome. For you today, there's a harvest song that will never be sung off key. That of the singer who recognizes what Jesus called the fields white unto harvest. It's God calling the lost who need to hear the good news that Christ will save all who come to him in repentance. When you work in that field, your song is echoed in heaven, and you will return to him someday rejoicing and carrying with you sheaves of joy. 
That is another of God's promises in Psalm 126. They weep as they go to plant their seed, but they sing as they return with the harvest. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.